Meanwhile, as we speak, India's Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft is orbiting the Earth at high speeds. The craft is on its 40-day journey to the moon. But it's not just the Indian space agency, ISRO, that is tracking and communicating with the craft. Several foreign space agencies are also doing the same. In this report, our senior correspondent Siddharth MP explains the tracking procedure. Take a look. All major space agencies worldwide operate such giant antennas. But what are they meant to do? These are the antennas that help the space agencies keep track of rocket launches and communicate with their satellites via radio signals. From sending and receiving data to issuing commands, this is the only means of reaching out to crafts that are hundreds or even thousands of kilometers away from the Earth. The bigger the antenna, the greater and farther its reach. But the antennas have one limitation. However big they are, or however big they get, they can only see objects that are within their range. If a spacecraft is not within the coverage area of an antenna, then it is not visible to it. To execute deep space missions that travel far away from the Earth to Moon, Mars and other planets, multiple tracking stations are necessary. Under ISTRAC or ISRO Telemetry Tracking and Command Network, India operates multiple tracking stations within the country's territory and in friendly foreign nations. The tracking stations within India are spread across Bengaluru, Lucknow, Sri Harikota, Port Blair and Thiru Vananta Puram. The foreign stations are based in Mauritius, Brunei and Biak. With such coverage, the Indian Space Agency is able to track the routine rocket launches that are carried out from India's spaceport in Sri Harikota. However, for the lunar missions such as the Chandrayaan, ISRO requires support from tracking stations across the globe. Operating multiple tracking stations world over is extremely expensive and unviable. Therefore, space agencies work with each other when the need arises. Various tracking stations belonging to NASA and the European Space Agency are tracking Chandrayaan-3 from various locations around the world. These include Goldstone in California, Coru in South America, Madrid in Spain, Gunheli in the United Kingdom and Canberra in Australia. The constant tracking from Indian and foreign stations ensures that India's Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft is visible to one or even more stations at a time and can be monitored and safely steered towards the moon. The international tracking support being provided by foreign space agencies like NASA, European Space Agency and Australian Space Agency for India's Chandrayaan-3 and deep space missions is a symbol of international cooperation and goodwill in space. This goes on to show that spacefaring activities and space exploration is not a solitary activity. Even within India, it takes thousands of scientists from across domains to execute a mission. Likewise, for deep space missions, it's required to cooperate with several international space agencies to ensure that this mission is going on and going on successfully. With video journalist Chandrasekhar from Sri Harikota, Siddharth MP, Vyond, World is One.